The penis is actually covered by a foreskin called the prepus. And then you can appreciate how there's the head of the penis, which is called the glans penis. There's also the penile urethra traveling through the penis. Now, notice this sort of bluish structure here, and there's two of them. This one that encompasses the glans penis, as well as the structure that surrounds the penile urethra, is a rectal tissue which we call the corpus, corpus spongiosum, corpus spongiosum. And this structure here is also a rectal tissue. This is corpora cavernosa. Now there are two corpora cavernosa and one corpus spongiosum. If we travel over here, we see the testes surrounded by the scrotum. And then notice that the testes, of course, are the place where the sperm are produced. Uh, the sperm ultimately travel to the epididymis, which is this structure here. It's also where the sperm mature. They learn to swim. Uh, they don't mature fully, but they do learn to swim in the epididymis. Sort of a gymnasium, if you will, for the sperm. Anyway, so there is the epididymis traveling then up at the tail of the epididymis and then to the ductus deferens, which is this long muscular tube. Now, this is also referred to as the vas deferens. The ductus deferens travels then across the urinary bladder on the back of it down over here into a region called the ejaculatory duct. And the ejaculatory duct is fed by another structure called the seminal vesicle, which provides, among other things, fructose for the sperm. So the ejaculatory duct, as you can see, is traveling through a glandular structure called the prostate gland. And it joins at the prostatic urethra, comes out uh, toward the membranous urethra now, and then right here near the membranous urethra, it's joined by mucus, alkaline mucus from a little gland, which we refer to as the bulbal urethral gland. So off it goes then, obviously then ultimately through the penile urethra. And that is in effect the male reproductive system. Well, I might add the prostate gland produces an alkaline fluid. It also contains some citric acid for, fluid, uh, for food. And then um, within the seminal uh, fluid, of course, are going to be coagulating agents that we find from these glands um, that uh, are going to uh, help the, sp the sperm congeal uh, once they get to the vagina so they're all kind of in one area.